what's up everybody i'm back with another video let's get today's profit from the market you see this double top it's a reversal pattern and the price is right here i go one trade with the sellers and then we're probably gonna enter buyers after hunting i mean after stopping out these buyers this area and then we're gonna probably go up so i keep going with the sellers because this is a very strong momentum uh, there's still a gap to this level my entry is a little bad so I, I probably enter one more trade up here just for securing the first one because my first entry is kind of bad let's see uh let me just draw this overlapping area it touched this demand area for example here you see that we have this gap down and we have this overlapping of candles so it's going to create a strong demand area for me let's see if we're going to secure the first trade I mean this first entry I was expecting this gap to be filled uh, we're gonna okay one of them was winning trades oh my goodness all right I want to go with the bars again because we have this gap down I mean gap down and the gap down we're gonna um, create I mean it's gonna keep going with the previous candle and the previous candle here is this green candle just like this one you see this one this is engulfing um, outside bar Normally, we should have uh, expected a green candle after this, but look at this gap up. You see this gap up? It continues the previous candle again here. See this gap up? It continues the previous candle. But once we, st we stop creating gaps, the bars will enter because they touch pretty strong um, demand area. And then the next candle again, it started from the gap down. And the philosophy behind this is that when we are starting with the gap down previously the, the buyers were here and they pushed even higher and then close here so still we have buyers here and it's starting from the buyers area so it's you know it makes sense to go up right so yeah let's check another trade all right so if we are closing this one like this i'll probably go with the buyers this is a major uptrend but minor let's say downtrend i really would be happy if we have this candle like this let me see this is a minor downtrend though look at this this is a minor downtrend but it's struggling and i assume that it's trying to go up again let's see if we can take a benefit like a take advantage of this i lower the risk Every time you're going against the trend, you have to lower your risk. I don't want to see this green candle right here. If I do, I probably take a sell trade. But I don't trust this. I don't trust this, but I will take the trade. All right. This is a risky trade. That's why I go with 50. And you have to do the same. When you are going against a trend or you are trying to take a risky trade, it's just better to lower the risk. All right. Because you might lose this. And then you're gonna be mad because you took this risky trade and you wiped out your previous trades profit so it's always better to lower the risk let's see how this trade is gonna go if you're having this as a green one I'm probably gonna go with the bars at the next candle again but we have bars entry strongly if you go to the lower time frame you see that we have slightly an uptrend here and there's a trend right yeah oh my god five second doesn't look good we might have sudden entry no we didn't okay all right so again i want to go with the sellers but look at this we have this gap down you see we have this gap down so the buyers can push higher i'm gonna take uh, i'm gonna just change this we have a pretty good area right here as a support let's see i want this candle to close below this and the next candle open with the gap down that'd be very good if that happens but i don't think it's gonna happen no it's again it's not very safe to take this 
Let me see this. Okay. We got pretty nice area right here. If we have like a very strong, like if we have, I don't know what is wrong with this pen. Okay. If we have the next candle close down here, that'd be amazing if to, to go with the buyers. And here, um, we have this resistance. It can become support. We have, if we have proper entry of the buyers, we can just keep going with them. So let's see what's going to happen here. What is this? Okay. All right, again, this gap up. I'm not going to trust this unless I enter with marginal safety. This gap up can be dangerous. Yeah, it's getting rejected, but that will be very good if the scandal was coming down and I would enter right here. But it's rejecting from this rejection point, see? But the better rejection point would be down here because we have this round number as well. No pro oh, no problem, man. Let's just go to the next layer. Okay, we started this one with this gap down. You remember? This one is started with this gap up. If you don't know, if you're confused about gaps, please watch the mini course. You can find it in the channel. And this one, look at this. It closed right here and start from the gap down. It's buyer's entry sign. If you see this one starting with this gap down, like you can enter right here or on this level, you can find the, the, the closest level and place your trades on that for better results. Let's see if I can find another trade. It's risky. It can break to the upside. I'm not gonna trust this one. Listen, when you have a level one, two, three, and then you see A, B, C after this, you're trying to, you see a lot of buyers here. There's a high chance of just breaking this area, okay? This breakout can be a fake out and then going back to the range and create this QM level Okay, QM level, it's basically stopping out the buyers here and then it comes down and it stops out the like a uh, buyers here, it stops out the sellers here. Okay, and then it goes up. All right, it can have reaction from this QM level and then it goes up. This is the market structure for this one, All right. Okay, I will go with the sellers here. Let's see the result of this trade and then I will explain how and why I took this. The only thing that I'm worried about is this little, little gap right here to create this demand area in my losses, but you know, based on the market structure, it should drop down. All right. Let's see, it's also long week market. It would be better if I entered with marginal safety for sure. Yeah, you see crazy stuff happening in the market. Yeah, always marginal safety will save your trade in these kind of markets, you see. That was crazy. All right. So the reason why I'm saying that the market will drop is just because you look at this. I just explained this market structure. When you have a ranging market, okay, it's not right. It's nothing wrong with the broker or something. It's just how the market moves. They break this and make people feel like it's going to drop. So many people put sell options here, but they don't know that this is a discount for buyers to enter. And then we have this QM level for sellers to enter, all right? And then they put a lot of sell 
options right here and they all lose the market comes up people think that okay we're gonna break to the upside just as I did when the price was here I thought it's gonna break to the upside and then they stop out the buyers here as well so everyone is stopped out and then the market will drop okay and most likely it's gonna keep going with the you know where it was faked out at the first time and if you zoom out you'll see that the market is major downtrend and this is a base probably it's gonna break to the downside again right that's why I thought it's better to just go with the sellers and that's it for today guys make sure you join the telegram channel because a lot of good stuff happening there and or let's say will happen there thank you for watching guys thank you for your crazy support I appreciate that and peace out